So, so there was no questions. Now is it because we don't really want to ask the question in front of everybody else? And if so, that's okay. Because we will be around after this whole thing is done. And so please, feel free to ask any of our staff questions. And I'm going to introduce a couple of additional people that we're going to be talking about some of their initiatives uh, here in the next couple of minutes uh, that happen to be here in the room. Uh, at the back of the room uh, is Derek Moon. Derek is working on one of our uh, technology uh, advancement projects, and we're going to talk about that here in just a minute. He's our uh, he's our point person in addition to being one of our uh, commercial plans examiners, so he's really kind of double tasked right now at a time when capacity is really a critical issue. So I really appreciate his efforts in getting us to uh, some technology that you're going to be very happy about, and we'll talk about that, like I said, in just a minute. The other person I'd like to uh, mention is uh, Jay Winchester. Jay is our inspections manager. Jay, raise your hand. Uh, I, I think that probably a lot of you know him. Jay's been around here uh, since I think they uh, made Washington County a county, and Jay, you know, has been very instrumental in getting. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Jay, but it's true. <laughs> Sometimes truth hurts. Wash Washington wasn't born yet. So Washington didn't call him down. <laughs> but but he was an idea. So so Jay has done an outstanding job of managing our uh, human resources as far as. Uh, uh, getting the necessary uh, inspectors to the necessary places to make sure that your projects can advance, you know, uh, appropriately. So I appreciate his efforts, and once again, uh, he's kind of another one of those faces of Washington County that you all need to be uh, familiar with as your projects advance into the uh, inspection portion. All right, so I want to talk about several different things. Once, a, one, you know, first the development activity trends. Uh, like Andy had mentioned, um, you know, we've been creating a lot of lots. In fact, in the last two fiscal years, we created 2,300 lots, which is more uh, or more lots than we created in the previous four years combined. So uh, clearly, the development activity is really escalating. Uh, obviously, it's because of all of the other economic development that's going on in Washington County or in the regional area. Washington County appears to be a very desirable place for people to live, and we appreciate that. And we want to make it a desirable place to live as well. So, um, so that provides us with some challenges. Staffing challenges as a result of uh, the economic turndown. A lot of the training programs were terminated, and they have not yet been restarted. Uh, there were changes in the funding or uh, the financing mechanisms at community college levels, and so those community college uh, community colleges have not been real excited about starting some of those training programs back up again because they haven't been traditionally uh, strong uh, performers when it comes to completion of two-year degree programs or one-year certificate programs because a lot of times people have a lot of construction experience they want to get in there get the necessary code classes and then and then go to work so that that's been a challenge for the community colleges so how did, how how are we going to deal with that and the answer is, is we're going to probably have to look at in-house training programs in-house training programs take staff capacity once again staff capacity at this time you know is a very is real challenging to come up with so we have a pretty aggressive recruitment process going on right now. Currently I have two positions that are open continuously, one for an electrical inspector, one for uh, plans examiner one. We are shortly going to open plans examiner two position as well as a building inspector two position again. And we are looking at a couple of um, applicants that uh, we're kind of excited about hoping to, to bring on board. But at the same time, we're competing with some adjacent jurisdictions, one of which recently announced that they were going to have 33 new positions coming open in the new fiscal year. So, you know, that's, that's quite a challenge for us. Okay, so technology. We've all seen technology advance in ways that we never really imagined possible. So uh, what are we looking at as Washington County and as the building services section? One of the things that we're looking at right now, and I mentioned Derek is the point person on that, is electronic plan review. So what does that mean for us and what does that mean for you? What that means for us is that we'll be able to share uh, proposals for development electronically with the click of a button rather than having to carry around physical rolls of plans. Okay, that's going to uh, save a lot of time, save a lot of effort. What does it mean for you? What it means for you is you don't have to bring a whole lot of paper down here, but you can submit your plans electronically through the internet. All right, that's going to save you a lot of time. We're hoping at some point in the not too distant future where we can interface with you and do all the business necessary that you want to do on a daily basis without you even coming down to our offices. Not that we don't want to see you, because we do, but we want you to be able to submit when it's convenient for you, how it's convenient for you. 
and then we want to be able to message uh, instantly to you as the as we move through the process that our that my staff just kind of described to you through the permitting and through the review and then finally to the issuance process. So um, you know the bottom line is is notwithstanding these kinds of forums, at some point you should be able to submit your plans or your applications for development on a Saturday, on a Sunday, at uh, seven o'clock in the evening, whenever is convenient for you. So this uh, first initiative is electronic plan review. It's in the form of a uh, software that's uh, promoted by Evolve called Project Docs and, and basically what that's going to do is that's going to give us the ability to look at all of the designs, uh, to mark them up uh, electronically, to be able to send them back to you, you know, instantly uh, once the uh, plan review is completed and if the plan review has no questions or no uh, comments, then we'll be able to move those very quickly over to our permitting uh, staff, Nancy staff, so that it can be completeness checked and be prepared for issuance and uh, then you will be notified to uh, come down and get your permit or once again when we get through with all of our technology advancements which may be about two years from now uh, you'll be able to receive your permit through the mail or uh, through the email excuse me we're not doing anything with the mail <laughs> we, we also have something else that's very quaint and some of you are still using it's called a fax machine Okay, we're hoping to have a celebration when we dismantle the fax machine. And so um, I don't want to scare any of you with that. Uh, but if you're actively using the fax machine and, and you would like to move to a more electronic uh, forum uh, and, and are concerned about how that might work, please contact us because we'll help you with that. We would like to get those applications electronically uh, because that's going to basically be the business model of the future. So where we're at with the uh, project docs, um, initiative right now is all of the infrastructure for that is in place. Uh, the building plan review workflow design is completed and uh, the evaluation testing has been accomplished. Um, our information technology and the uh, LUT staff are working very closely on all aspects of this review process. So what, what do I mean by I, when I say that? And that means that it's not just building services, it's also planning, it's also uh, our road folks. And so a lot of the allied review processes that Nancy mentioned earlier, you're going to be able to work concurrently with them. We're going to be able to share uh, proposed designs with them instantly through the click of a button. So hopefully, you know, these concurrent reviews will occur much more efficiently, but much more quickly. And you, sh you should be able to get those comments back once again much more quickly as well if they can be done through instant messaging technologies. Um, the initial training from the vendor for the key personnel has actually already started. We had a training event here about, what, a, three or four weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. And so that was a, a really good snapshot into how exactly the system is going to work, what the internal uh, uh, coordination is going to look like, but also uh, how the coordination with our customers is going to look. So um, that's been a real educational process for us. The project so far is well within budget. I know that's going to be hard to believe, but we are. Uh, we're within budget. I think that the budget that uh, was originally agreed upon was a very realistic budget for what the expected accomplishments were accomplishment was going to be and I'm hoping that we continue to track along that line. Um, we're going to have a soft launch possibly as early as this fall. What does that mean? That means we're going to select a number of our um, very active applicants and we're going to start having them uh, submit their plans electronically and we're going to start doing those electronic plan reviews uh, with that select group so that we can find those bugs that are in it inevitably going to be there and get them solved before we go to a more um, uh, complete you know, implementation or a, basically a hard start. So uh, that's kind of exciting for us. I'm hoping that you're excited about that as well. Um, once again, you know, we, we really want to move into this newer technology. We think that it's going to be efficient for us. We think it's going to be efficient for you. And, and once again, it's going to save you a lot of time where you're not going to have to be uh, driving down to our offices to bring in uh, pieces of paper.